want us to turn to God's word today for some good news. Whenever you listen to the news, there's so much distress. But I want to encourage you with good news from the word of God. You say to me, but where can you get good news today? Look around you. Do you not see what's happening? People are shut in. Businesses are closed. Hospitals are crowded. People are dying. The picture across the world is so distressing, it's even frightening. Yes, the situation we face must not be underestimated. The gravity of the hour is real. But the word of God is also real. Paul speaks about the gospel that he preached in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. He said that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus said to his disciples who were distraught in that upper room, whilst he talked about his death and he was going to leave them, but he said this, because I live, ye shall live also. I want to talk very plainly today because you see, there is no good news outside of Jesus Christ. The good news is that God did not leave us to our sin or in our sin, but God provided a remedy in his son. Thank God, Jesus Christ, the son of God, he died for us. He shed his precious blood for us. And that's what is talked about here in 1 Corinthians 15, that Christ died for our sin. Notice whose sin? Our sin. Why did the Lord Jesus Christ leave heaven's glory and come down into this world of ours to die upon the cross of Calvary for our sin? Because of our sin. He had no sin. The sinless, spotless Lamb of God. The sin is ours. It's mine. My sin. And until I acknowledge that I am the sinner, I can never know God's salvation. But Christ died for our sins. As our substitute in our place, condemned he stood. But not only did he die for our sin, it says he was buried. They took the body of the Lord Jesus and they laid that body in the tomb. But the story of the gospel does not finish there. It does not finish with a dead body on a cross or in a tomb. But hallelujah, the Lord Jesus Christ lives. The woman went to the tomb. And when they went into the tomb, the stone had been rolled away and the angel said, he is risen. He's not here. Friends, the Lord Jesus Christ is alive today. I don't worship a dead savior, but I'm worshiping one who's alive forevermore. Is not what the Lord Jesus Christ cheered the heart of John on the Isle of Patmos amidst his persecution and tribulation? The Lord appeared unto him, and this is what Jesus said. Revelation 1, verse 18. Jesus said unto him, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Thank God, because he lives, all my fear is gone. You ask me, how I know he lives, because he lives within my heart. And I can lay my head down at night upon the pillow of that little children's hymn, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Do you know that good news in your heart? Have you received the Lord Jesus as your saviour? Why not come to him now? Child of God, there's good news. Jesus is alive. He's your savior. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Bless it to our hearts, encourage us and bring souls to Christ for Jesus' sake. God bless you.
from my home to yours, from my heart to yours. Jesus lives.